Okay, hello and welcome. And next, I'd like to show you that how to know this that you have uh, issue and bad situation in your car's battery because there is excellent example. And now I am talking that this battery is quite old and there is this very harmful corrosion, this white thing, and this white stuff. What we need to remove immediately and then we when then we need to also lubricate these battery lead areas in here because there is always also this corrosion and why this corrosion is so bad there is only the one big thing and this one big thing is that that when there there becomes this corrosion like in here it it makes this this batteries lead and this electricity movement stops and then we have situation that when we start to start our car engines then nothing happens this battery is like dead and that's it's so important to remove all of these corrosions because this spreads and moves like cancer when we have one corrosion in here quite soon it is in here and in here and then we have difficulties to start that our car and that's next I saw that how to remove this corrosion and how to lubricate these lead bases okay and then we continue okay and then when we look that car battery more we can notice that there is now this corrosion in here and maybe also in those lead basements and then when I open that plus cable, there is this white and it is bad. And let's look next those corrosion areas more closer. Okay, and here we have now this white corrosion in three different points. This is this corrosion. It is interesting. It is like cancer when we have in our human body we have cancer. This is similar bad thing because it, it, it spreads out and it expands always. When I check that here is this white material and within a couple of months it is also in that lead area and in here and here. And now when we check there is also corrosion in here and in that lead base what is this plus area there is this white corrosion and now there is a situation that if I don't do nothing in this my battery, I will be, and actually I must be in troubles within the half year or couple of months or within year. And the issue is that that in some day my car don't start. And that means that I am in troubles if this corrosion stops my car. Because this this uh, corrosion is, is similar than this insulation materials and it, it, is, it stops this electricity movement from inside in this battery and these basements uh, through this, to these cables. It is like insulation material and it, it, it stops this electricity movement and that we need to do now this service and repair and remove these corrosions and this this uh, service and repair happens so that first I take need to take all of these cables and this support bar away and then I need some metallic brush that I can uh, remove this this uh, corrosion white things away and then I need to lubricate with oil or some Vaseline, Vaseline uh, this oily, oily paste these things like the, the one of the best what we can insert in here is this this uh, copper paste it is oil paste uh, material what is very very uh, very very resistant against this corrosion Okay, but I, I start that my job so that, that I open 
these two bolts in here because I need to clean this support bar and I take my tool next. Okay, and then we need this uh, 10 millimeter socket, what I have in here, and there is one 10 in here, and this tool fits in that bolt and also in this bolt in here. And I open first these bolts in, in that way, and I have here this ni nice T-bar tool, what, what works really well, and it's really fast, and there is this this uh, Toyota's special bolt and this is quite rusty and if I need new bolt I recommend to go in this nearest Toyota dealership center and this bolt costs something like one US dollar per piece or one euro and it, it is we can get that bolt almost right away and then I open that next bolt and there is also special bolt There was this kind of bolt, and then, then I can lift that support bar away. And if this is too rusty, I, I had in one Corolla, this was totally rusty, and I purchased that new metallic, I, this new, new metallic bar, and it cost something like 10 US dollars, this totally new bar. And then I need this kind of metal brush that I can take these, these dusty things away. And I go now, I, I take first this area in here away and also in that area. And I use my, my cotton coat that I can take these things away. Because the, these are and to, to my trash box. And then I clean that that part, show that that let's look closer to that next. Okay, and there is this my part and then I take this this my metal brush and I I clean that part in all areas. And and here we can see also this this corrosion and I, I take also those away and, and also here. Okay, and there is this corrosion. It has been take this all metallic things in here away. And then we need something protective stuff. And the protective stuff is like engine engine oil and and this is this is quite good for that service and if i might have this uh, copper paste or some battery lubricant paste vaseline it's better but this oil is better than nothing and that's i i i insert a little bit this oil in this my cap in that way and then I lubricate that my hair is oil now and then I have here this kind of cotton cloth and I press that my cotton cloth in here and then I I paint these all areas with this my oil and this oil is very very good against this corrosion and it it keeps this corrosion away Many years. I think that something like two, three, three years corrosion is away. And of course, if we have black paint, we could paint that tool very well, and then it's better. And now I have I have handled that, and then we go to look this car's battery situation in there, because there is also this corrosion and and I need to take first that minus cable away and there is 10 millimeter this ball I take friends because it is easier to 
handle and let's continue soon. Okay, and there is me that my next job and here I have this 10 millimeter 10 millimeter friends what fits in here and in here and this is in Toyota way that there is only one bolt and it's easy to open and I open that first in this way and this is minus cable and I insert that in a little bit away in here and then there is this uh, plus cable and it also opens with a couple of rotations and then when we take these cables away only a little bit movement we move that okay I open it more and now a little bit movement okay and now it opens and there we can see this corrosion in in that lead area and also inside this this uh, metallic and copper connector and look those closer next okay and there is this our, our this target area and and there is this corrosion in inside inside this my cable and this is quite bad situation because I need to take those old corrosions away in this this inside area and so now it's quite difficult because because I don't have this access but I try to do my best and also this other area this is quite difficult to bend this cable because it is it's just certain amount now I managed to clean the other area too and, and then if this this plus cable or minus cable if it is totally end we can do so that that we, we go to this nearest Toyota dealership center and then we can purchase this new cable it costs something like I estimate that 20 or 40 US dollars and, and we will get those cables within within day or two and then we can replace this cable if, if there is so much corrosion that this is totally end but this is this is not totally end and I I take then this cotton cloth and I insert that in through that hole that I can clean that inside area also and, and there's there was this and an idea is to take all of this white white like ice cream this is like something like white white chocolate or something interesting white stuff away and and we can also use this small spike metallic spike I have here a tool where is this short sharp point and and with that I I take take all of this white materials away Okay, and then we can use also sandpaper in here inside that me we sand that and then important thing is this plus place that I rotate this my cotton cloth and I clean it and then I take this my metallic brush and I I I clean that my basement now it look much better and I do same in this minus area and that way and then then I clean also these corrosions in here because they are bad and also in here and then I clean those using my my this and then remember that all caps are 
tight. And there was a little bit corrosion. And I used this my thing here. And be careful, this all stuffs are harmful because this battery is poison material and all of this white corrosion can, can be harmful to our skin and that's do not touch these white things with your skin. Okay, and then when I have cleaned those all things, I can do my next job and I need now this lubricant and I have here this engine oil what is quite okay for these things but of course this copper paste for the special uh, battery lubricant it is better and then it's idea that we insert that copper paste a little bit small thin surface in here and it happens so that I take my cotton cloth and here there was this my engine oil and I paint this my lead base basis by this oil and this oil protects this uh, battery from this corrosion and then I insert in here also very thin surface in here this my oil in this critical arrest and then we had that that plus cable what was full of this oily only I like lubricate these all parts and this especially this inner area in here I insert my I have this my finger in here but now I use this my spike and I move that and then this other side it's better and then also Okay, and then I take my oil cap away and I think that, that this thing is fine and next I can insert these cables this plus cable in here and the final step is to insert this minus cable do not ever insert these boats in here because there is risk of this electric circuit and then I fasten that plus area and then be careful because there is lead this inside it is not not durable that do only press so much and tighten these bolts that that they are fastened. If, if you use really big bar in here, then we can destroy this lead basement. Do not, this force is something like 10 to 20 kilonewtons is this force. It is not much. And then I insert that my metallic support bar in here and it, it goes in there nicely. First, and in here, okay, there is some, some dusty things, I take those away and then, then we need to connect, there is hole in here and there we have this metallic bar in here, it is in that bar and I insert first that support bar through that that area and then remember there is the special metallic these shapes what goes in just in behind and against this car battery it is important to remember that this is accurate job and here is this another bolt what goes in that part and I, I, I move that little bit up and then it's easier to insert that nut in here and now it moves and then I think that I insert that next 
bolt, there's hole, and this bolt goes in there. And then I use my my picker to and then I take my this picker bar that I can rotate easily in that way. In that way this bolts. Okay, and in there. And also in these bolts, be careful that you don't fasten and tighten this too much because they can go broken. Something like 20 to 10 to 20 kilonewtons force. And that means that I use only now one hand and small area in here. That I don't fasten this too much because if we was fasten this battery too much, this is plastic, this cover, it can be go broken. But most important thing is that when we try to move that battery, it, it must be so tight and fastened and it, it don't move. And now look these metallic sides, they are just in here and also in here. And then, then I need to fasten a little bit this plus, yes plus is okay. And then there is this plus corrosion cover and protective cover. This is really important because we have to always protect this area that, that we don't do any corrosion, uh, sorry this electric circuit. And then I had this minus cable and there was by the way I need to lubricate this inside area because I need to do that. And that's I take this my cotton cloth and little bit oily and then I lubricate also that basement all areas and I move that cotton cloth in. in here cool and I take extra oilies away and then I insert that back in here and press that end in there and then only we need to fasten that final 10 millimeter bolt and, and then look look my hand I am using only one hand and small friends in that way and then I fasten that and then I all time I check that is this loosen or not and it, it must be in that tighten that that I can't move that and then only carefully because there is risk that, that if I use something tool like this that I have long bar and then I move that in very two ways, two hands. Then I can destroy that base and be careful. Okay, now everything is fine and now I can say that now this battery has been served and corrosion is away and also I lubricate these bases and that metallic bar and now I can guarantee that this system last in that that shape two to three years even more okay and thank you for watching this video and have a nice day to you